For quite some time, whenever I went on Amazon, this book would appear in my recommendation list. And eventually, I bought it because I kept meaning to see what it was like. And then it took me a while. It was hanging around on my shelves for a while. Uh, I read it. And then I've been meaning to make a video about it for weeks, if not months now. And so now seemed like a, a good time to do it. So this is the 100 page machine learning book by Andre Burkhoff. I'm just walking over the cattle grid. I have to be very careful when I do that because I'm always worried I'm gonna break my ankle and fall through. And if you're just interested in knowing what the book's like, I think it's really good. I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail. Sometimes people ask whether I read the books that I feature on the channel. Yes, I do. I would never recommend a book that I hadn't read. I think that would be a dishonest thing to do. So you'll only see books featured on this channel that I have read. I only feature books that I like because I don't like to criticize other people's work. So there are lots of books that I have read that I, I don't like. I just don't feature them on the channel. <clears throat> this book succeeds in doing something really quite difficult to distill the whole of machine learning into a hundred pages and to do that well and to cover all the important aspects of, of the subject is not an easy thing to do. But that's what this book does. It is just over a hundred pages long. When you think of a book like Bishop's Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning, that runs to about seven or eight hundred pages. Obviously, that covers the subject in more detail. But this book crams a lot of what you need to know about machine learning into very few pages. We'll go over more of what the book covers by looking at the table of contents in a little while. But what I wanted to say was it would be very easy for a book like this to scratch the surface, to be quite hand wavy, not really to go into any of the maths behind uh, the concepts and the models and really give no insight at all to be more sort of an anecdotal book about, you know, some of the uses of machine learning. But this book doesn't do that. It gives a really good technical introduction to the subject. Now, if you don't come from a mathematical background, you might have to spend longer reading the book than you would if you do come from a mathematical background, but it's still the sort of book that you could read in a week. And if you have a mathematical background, you could read it in less time than that. It also has an accompanying website that goes into more detail if you want to follow up on a topic after you finish reading about it in the book. So let's have a look at the table of contents now. I've come inside now because I want to show you the table of contents of the book. And then when we've gone through that, I will show you how the book covers various topics and we'll have a look at how it covers gradient descent. So here's the contents page. There's a very useful introduction and then chapter two is good because if it's been a while since you've done maths, it uh, gives you uh, note, shows you how to interpret mathematical notation. And then it covers important things like what a random variable is. And if you're new to machine learning, the difference between a parameter and a hyperparameter, that's going to be very useful as well. It goes on to cover the fundamental algorithm. And in chapter four, it shows you how a learning algorithm works. And there's a very good description of gradient descent. And we'll have a look at that in more detail shortly. And then the book goes into more detail covering essential topics in machine learning. And it doesn't just scratch the surface with them. It does give you enough of an explanation and enough of the maths so that you can understand how it works. Now, what the book doesn't do is give you, it's not a cookbook, it doesn't have much code in it, it doesn't show you how to implement these algorithms, but it gives you a very good idea of what the algorithms are aiming to do and why they're used and why you should pick a particular algorithm. 
This is the section on gradient descent and it takes you step by step through how gradient descent works. Uh, and actually this is one of the few sections in the book that does have code in it, but most of the chapters don't have code in them. With this book, Andrew Burkhoff has succeeded in doing something that is very difficult. He's distilled the subject of machine learning down to its essential topics, covered them in just over a hundred pages, and has done so without ignoring and avoiding the maths. Anyone who reads this book will have a really good high level understanding of what machine learning is and how it works and how it's applied. It's not like a typical textbook. It doesn't have questions at the end of each chapter and you will need to do further reading to really understand the topics that are covered. But it's a wonderful introduction to the subject. I hope to be reviewing the sequel soon. This is the latest book by Andrew Burkov, but I haven't had a chance to read this one yet. So that video is not going to be ready for a little while.